Welcome to the garden. Today I'm going to be creating a dead hedge, which is a type of fence that can be made from just about anything. From very fine twigs and shrubs, to larger branches, all the way up to big rotten logs, which is why it's called a dead hedge. We're going to start with some nice sturdy stakes. So you want to use your best material, something that's strong, that's not going to flex. And I've sharpened one end so that we can drive it down into the soil. And we'll just drive these down until they're nice and solid. This is really the foundation of our wall. Then depending on what we're gonna use as filler, you wanna space these apart appropriately. So if you're just gonna use one very thin layer of sticks, you probably want them nice and close together so that you can wedge them in tight. You can even go a foot wide or more if you're gonna be using old rotten logs or big clusters of brush. I'm gonna go somewhere in between, about four to six inches apart. And I'll try to twist this so that we get a nice matchup. That way we've got a fairly consistent space all the way down. We'll put our other stakes maybe about a meter apart or about three feet and try to get that same spacing. So here's what our stakes look like when they're all set up and you can do as many pairs as you want to continue the fence on as far as you need. I'm just going to start with these two pairs but we can always add on to it later. And this is where the fun begins. I'm going to start with our largest material first. And the really cool thing about a dead hedge is it doesn't matter if this is rotten. It really doesn't even need to stretch all the way in between the two. And this is really the benefit of a dead hedge over something like a wattle fence, which is that woven stick construction. It generally requires fresher, more flexible material. But here we can use really stiff, old, rotten wood, mangled logs. And we can always trim off any stragglers or cut off the ends if we want. And that may even give us more material to use. see how quick it is to fill this with just any old scrap wood you have lying around. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. It doesn't even have to be wood. <laughs> you can fill this with junk. I mean, look at this. <laughs> you can use a canoe paddle. don't have to be ugly either. You can really take your time and make it nice and neat, weaving the sticks together. It's probably not as strong or as elegant as a wattle fence, but it's a lot easier to make and you can use just about any material you have lying around. And here's our finished dead hedge fence, made with everything from old rotten logs to larger branches and smaller sticks, even cuttings from brush and wildflowers. And I just threw in some junk from around the garden just for fun to show you how versatile it is to fill. So I hope you can find a use for a dead hedge in your garden. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you next time.